Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. Welcome cross watchers for Taurus. And for those of you that have landed here for the first time ever, happy to have you join us. Um, before I activate the reading, I do want to let you know, first of all, happy birthday to our May born Taurus sun signs. Yay! Happy birthday. Um, wishing you all the best on your next trek around the sun. May it be full of love, simple little joys, prosperity, abundance. You know the drill. Happy birthday. Sincerely. Um, also, even though this isn't a date and time specific reading, because we're all on different timelines, that's why I leave it kind of open. I do like to let you know what's going on in the cosmos when I'm recording. Today is a powerful day, Saturday, May 18th. The um, Jupiter is what we call Kazimi. Jupiter is conjunct the sun, meaning the Sanskrit translation, I believe, of Kazimi is in the heart of. So Jupiter is in the heart of the sun. And since the sun is our conscious awareness, our vital force energy, and that planet of good luck, good fortune, abundance, expansion is sitting right there in the heart of the sun, it is a banner day for those of you especially who are Taurus born. Um, and Venus is in Taurus and Uranus is in Taurus. And Venus, as we speak, is con connecting with Uranus, which means surprises, twists, pivots, breakthroughs, and matters of the heart. And then she will journey on and connect with Jupiter as well. I know. So really beautiful energies. I'm pulling from Cosmic Journey Oracle to activate the reading. You get card 30, trust and act accordingly. Beautiful trust and act accordingly so i get the impression there are lots of themes right now around um there have been themes let me say that there have been themes around disappointment avoidance um and a general lack of trust or or at least questioning intentions that's a good way to say it so i think that's sort of letting you know you trust but then you know govern yourself <laughs> okay, so i'm gonna do my twin flame soulmate spread here i'll walk you through it the overall energy present energy between the two of you is a little bit of caution the eight of swords is a little blocked um second guessing overthinking self-doubts right not trusting ourselves and how we're processing a situation that's why she's sort of like blindfolded and bound she doesn't know her next best step forward which happens to land her in a puddle and um in tarot pu puddle you know water when you see in the picture in the graphic image any water or cups is about our feelings and emotions so there's kind of like questioning ourselves and not feeling ready to drop into our heart we're still up all in our heads okay and there is some stuck energy around that oh nice okay beautiful so um for this position here this is where you are presently in connection to this person you've got some curiosity um, you may be wanting to, to bring a message of truth to light or you're anticipating receiving some kind of clarity. Um, your person, magician, they're focused on manifestation, but also a sense of mastery. Like, do I have what it takes to pull off what I, what I really want here? Uh, your karmic challenge for those of you watching and it doesn't matter your sign this is your energy this is their energy king of pentacles so the king of pentacles is taurus by the way associated with the sign of taurus and i feel like there's a karmic challenge maybe a, a, around this person showing up for you in 3d being being available for you being a person of their word doing what they say they're going to do you know being where they say they're going to be it is also a masculine archetype of a life partner so dependability predictability responsibility all that is inherent in that card 
So there's a karmic challenge around it. We'll see with the clarifiers. For your person, their karmic challenge is some complacency. Taking some stuff for granted. Um, sometimes the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment, but it feels like because we have some stuck energy that it could be coming by way of somebody who's just kind of saying, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna push the river here. Things feel good as they are. And therefore you see this person seated, looking pretty self-satisfied, and there's a lack of action. Now, the opportunity here is the Three of Wands. That is something coming towards you. It's an opportunity. It's something you're anticipating because with the Two of Wands, we choose the path and we set something in motion based on what it is, the path we want to follow. And then the Three of Wands is whatever we set in motion is, is arriving, is being manifested. So the opportunity is for some manifestation of something that you've been sort of focused on or you've set intentions around and the divine guidance is the two of cups. This is your partnership here. So that's the general idea. Let's get the um, clarifiers to give us the details. Yes. Okay. So it's been a while. I get the impression you're both sort of stuck um, knowing that you need to communicate about something. Maybe you haven't talked in a while, or maybe there's, like I said, a question, um, some curiosity, something that needs to be cleared up or explained. And you're both sort of working to overcome this obstacle of feeling stuck, but it's taking some time. So the good news is when we see the seven of pentacles is that it's something that evolves or grows organically. So it does require patience. And it also feels to me like this is somewhere that energetically the two of you have to be supportive of each other. You know, it's like if you know you have to have a conversation, but the opportunity hasn't presented itself or there's a topic that needs to be discussed or you want to discuss, but that opportunity hasn't presented itself. This card, the strength card is about sort of helping each other overcome the obstacle, helping each other kind of get out of that self-imposed prison. Um, because that Eight of Swords is keeping you locked in place and it's stopping any forward motion and progress. So let's look at our Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Emperor, Knight of Wands in the Night. Yeah, I feel you're really curious here. You are... Um, you haven't given up on the connection. I do think you may be anticipating a return of divine masculine, um, passionate return. It could also be that you've got some, you want some truth about an in and out nature to the connection. So you're, you're persevering, you're pushing through, but it's a struggle. And it feels like this search for clarity with this page of swords is, um, either about this person returning if they're, remember, it's a general reading, not a private reading. So it's going to kind of, um, resonate for each of you a little differently, but it feels like it's either that curiosity about a return or, um, needing some clarity about the in and out nature for your person. We have the magician. Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel this, um, whoever this is, is has sort of taken themselves off the grid a bit. It feels like they've been journeying a bit um, with the Hermit there, not making themselves readily available and understanding that this nature of manifestation of having all the tools that there is disposal it's like they're on the road to discovering that the ace of wands is that energy rising up within them to let them know the time is right to act here you go and with the wheel of fortune which is jupiter it feels like this person's sort of toggling with the notion of divine time um, so while we've got patience here in the seven of pentacles, we also have an awareness of this person that when the time is right and right, the spirit moves them, so to speak, that they will have everything they need to kind of come out of hiding and, um, or come in off 
off the grid and set something in motion. So I kind of feel this person, the two of you may not be communicating a whole lot, if at all. Um, this person may be a little reclusive at the moment, but it feels like there's an awareness on their part that there's a bigger plan and that once it begins to unfold, that's when they'll take action. So the karmic challenge for you is King of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, the world. So your karmic challenge is, um, is, is around trusting intentions, maybe dealing with somebody who's avoiding you or avoiding being more committed in the connection, taking it more seriously, considering the future. And that could be something that's got you over a barrel it's too heavy it's it, it's a burden all you want to do is kind of offload this heavy burden and with the wheel of uh with the world card here that's part of the lesson and the karmic challenge is you know do you need to carry this does it belong to you in the first place saturn's in you know, the great teacher and the lord of karma but when we see the world card you know, something kind of has to end before we can have a new beginning. And I feel that this is very taxing for you because you're dealing with somebody that you either can't pin down um, or you can't trust or you're not sure what their intentions are because they're avoidant. Okay, so that's a karmic challenge based on a dynamic between you and this person. And now their karmic challenge is the nine of cups. Five of Wands, King of Swords, Hanged Man. This person does tend to um, shut down whenever there's any conflict. I feel like they're like, oh, yep, nope, I'm not going to say much, if anything at all. A little bit um, parsimonious, meaning saying as little as possible, not to feed the tensions. And then just kind of presses pause. I feel like things grow stagnant because this part of this person's strategy is when there's any tension or what, when they're, you know, taken to task on something, they just kind of stop everything right there. They don't engage. And as a result, that nine of cups is indeed coming through as complacence, meaning taking the whole situation for granted. The re relationships don't grow themselves. It takes work and it takes effort and it takes being engaged and not avoiding the difficult and challenging and tense moments. So that's what's coming through in this storyline. If it's resonating for you, great. Let's keep going. I've got the opportunity here. Is something coming towards you? Perfect. Well, hello, Taurus. A new committed beginning. <laughs> An offer, possibly. Um, an offer uh, of leveling the connection, putting a ring on it. It could be anywhere in between that. Uh, so you're being guided to continue to have that patience. Temperance is calling temperance rules. Sag temperance is associated with Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter, which is sitting in the heart of the sun. Do you see how all this is connecting right now? Even though this isn't a date and time specific reading, temperance is the higher mind right? Sagittarius, the higher mind, across the way, Gemini, the lower mind. So this is about your expanded view of the situation and being able to just go with the flow and, you know, keep your emotions balanced even. I love the temperance card, one foot on the ground, one foot in the water. So one foot solid and the other in the feelings. And how do we balance those? We balance them through patience, through not getting hysterical and for exercising lots of self-control and restra restraint, especially <clears throat> if we've been, you know, dealing with someone who's avoidant, if we're dealing at tensions are arising from that, if we question someone's intentions, all of that is, you know, requiring us to kind of come from the highest version of ourselves, both in the Hierophant, which can be a card of the higher self, and Temperance saying, What's coming toward you is solid. Conventional committed relationship taken to the next level. I like that message for you. Now let's get 
divine guidance for you from spirit in the two of cups oh yeah yeah get clear about um the desire here to kind of make sure we've got everything clear we started off with your energy with the page of swords which is interesting and i said you're curious about something because that page of swords or you're looking for clarity around some that page of swords is like the spire detective of, detective of the tarot and now we have the knight and the queen and the king so we're moving through the suit of swords which is all about communication perception id id ideation ideas um yeah what else it's all the realm of the mind so it feels to me like the guidance here is if you've got questions that need to be answered extend yourself with no hidden agenda and be prepared to receive the truth right as <laughs> without any um expectation of what's going to be said if you want to know what's going on here especially if this person is just kind of in and out because they're not really interested in anything more long term um, or committed you know you got to be prepared for whatever is said and then the guidance underneath is if this person wants you they will let it be known king of wands doesn't hesitate the king of wands i see it i want it i claim it it's mine and if they want you the message is since it's from the bottom of the deck um be prepared to hear that and be prepared to hear that they, they've got desire and that they absolutely claim this connection, this partnership, because all of that is landing on the two of cups. But there may be some truths that come in that you need to be prepared for. So that is what I have for you in this part of the reading. If it is resonating for you, that's great because I'm going to take it to the extended. There are some links below. Um, I recommend you click them and read what the offer is. If you just want this extended, it says one time extended and click that link. The one that says a monthly um, is still very reasonable pretty much the price of a, of a single um, extended but includes other it is a monthly renewal so i just wanted to make sure you're aware of that and um if you enjoy the reading absolutely join us on the regular by subscribing below click the little notification bell um i love to see your comments so don't be shy and um, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at whoever this person is, um, just so that I can talk about them in a general sense, we're gonna call this person the King of Pentacles, because that's what I really feel it is you're after, is this Emperor King of Pentacles in 3D, a committed divine masculine. So that's what we're gonna look at in the extended, go for a deeper dive on what's happening with them, what they're working through right now, um the hidden energy behind the scenes with them that you don't know but might want to their message to you will also get their feelings about you their intentions toward you all of that in the extended here is the astrology though we have strength card is leo um over here we have the page of swords gemini libra aquarius the emperor is um aries the knight of wands is sagittarius for your person, we have the magician is Mercury, so planet of communication, Virgo and Gemini. The hermit is Virgo. Here's Jupiter in the Wheel of Fortune, which rules Sagittarius. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus. The world card, as I mentioned, is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. The King of Swords, Aquarius. The hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. And here we have the Hierophant is more Taurus, Temperance is more Sagittarian energy, and then um, Libra, nice and balanced and diplomatic, Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords is Gemini, and our King of Wands closes us out with some more Leo energy. That's what I have for you, and I'm heading to the extended right now, so I'll see you there in a second.